All right, so the whole mammography debate, it, it's never ending. So can you talk <laughs> about the benefits of early detection uh, uh, versus the risk of over-diagnosing, over-treatment over associated with the current mammography screening recommendations? The American Cancer Society and, and other groups have really identified 40 as the, as the start point for mammography. So the short answer is mammograms save lives. Um, the fact that there is any debate at all is based on a number of deeply flawed studies that muddied the water a bit. And so when you eliminate the confounded studies, the data is clear. Um, women who participate in mammographic screening have a 30 to 40 percent less chance of dying of breast cancer than women who don't have screening. And again, that's only half of the story. Women who participate in mammographic screening need less surgery. They need less radiation. They need less chemotherapy. And so the fact that there is a debate about this still to this day uh, is a head scratcher for me. I just can't. I can't understand it. Well, and you as a doctor, um, you know, how do you how do you rectify that? There are patients out there, doctors out there, who have options, and um, it's wonderful that there are so many options. But is it to a certain degree, gosh, too many options? And again, the risk of of over treating. Is there a downside to over treating? Well, the, the answer, short answer, is yes. Um, if, if I have a woman who's 85 years old and she has a heart condition and she has diabetes and she's sort of struggling day to day, it doesn't make a lot of sense for me to get a mammogram, uh, find a breast cancer that is never going to threaten her health. The real debate in overtreatment has to do with a condition called DCIS, duct carcinoma in situ. And this is where a lot of research is focused right now. The incidence of DCIS, this is a, a pre-invasive or a non-invasive type of breast cancer. So it's breast cancer that's trapped within a milk duct. The growth in the number of cases per year paralleled the growth of mammography, the popularization of mammography. When we look at autopsy series of women who die of other diseases, a lot of them have DCIS. And so there is a subset, there's a pool of DCIS patients, where that disease was never going to progress and threaten the woman. That's true over diagnosis and over treatment. We don't really have tools yet to identify the good DCIS from the bad DCIS, but we will. There's no question that we will. So that's been the heart of the debate is for DCIS, are we over treating it? And the answer is we are, but we need better tools.